the very dangerous, life threatening uh. Uh. job of <laughs> cleaning uh. glass on this day. Uh. Hello and welcome back to Creative Peckeeping. In today's video, we are going to talk about my favorite fish of all times. Look at this cute little face. This is the Lamprologus Ocelotus Gold. And I have two pairs living in a 20 gallon long, which is planted with a little rock scape in the middle, which is kind of their kind of safety no-go zone, but also serves as a visual barrier. One of the really nifty things about these fish is they are shell dwellers, which means that they live inside of shells. Not only do they use them as a safe place to hide, but they will also lay their eggs and raise their fry inside. Now, like most shell dwelling species, because there are a couple different varieties, they love to dig. And their particular favorite unique digging style is using their entire body to move sand and bury their shells over time. You would think that a lot of the shell dwellers would pretty much be the same. Little tiny nano dwarf fish that likes to dig, lives in shells, bam, that's it. But they're actually quite different and quite unique when you really compare all the different varieties, which is why I really wanted to highlight how awesome the Lamprologus ocelotus gold is. So let's talk about the tank. Now, they live in a 20 gallon long. There's two pairs in here, two males, two females. And at the moment, this kind of works for me. This is a breeding setup, both pairs breed. I have some breeding boxes at the top of the tanks where I re will remove the fry and grow them out and feed them before they can be moved into a larger grow out tank. Now the reason I do this is because my particular pairs will eat their fry. Uh, some people had had luck raising their fry in a tank with their fish. In my case, that doesn't seem to work, so the babies are nice and safe in their breeder boxes. One of the things I do to manage aggression in this tank is I will actually, once a month, remove some of the shells. I try to first observe and see which ones they're using so I don't disturb the shells that they're actually utilizing for spawning. But the bonus shells, I'll use a little net to remove them just so I don't get bit. And then I'll plop them back in there once I dump all the sand out. And this kind of resets the tank in a sense that the male now has to bury all the shells. So it kind of preoccupies him. So he has something to do so he doesn't have to fight the other male or harass the females. I think that these fish are a good species only tank because for the most part they will try to murder anybody else that is in their territory. I do get away with keeping some baby bristle nose plecos in here, but I have to rotate them out once they get a little larger because the ocelotus will start to go after them when they start to see them as a threat. I've also tried to have some dither fish with them in the past as well, and they kind of tried to murder all of them. I know that there are exceptions to the rule, so I know there's other people that get lucky with keeping ocelotus with other fish, but for the most part, they're very angry, aggressive, territorial fish and let me show you what happens when you stick your hand in the tank daniel is going to not perform the very dangerous life-threatening uh. uh. job of uh. glass on this tank uh. you just gonna make that sound every time he gets you is he getting good or no say bye Let's do that. Good chunk out of you there. So mean. They're actually being fairly reasonable. More than usual. So mean. Oh. <laughs> he got you real good. Yeah. Oh.
You would think that by now I would have gotten a glass scraper that has a little handle so I don't get bit by these guys. One of those days I will. But it was kind of satisfying to see Daniel get bit because that's usually me getting bit. And by now I actually figured out a technique to try to avoid getting bit. And I can definitely make a video about that in the future if that is something you are interested in. If you would like to see more about the Ocelotus, I have previous videos. I even have videos of them as little tiny babies when I first got them in their little girl tank. They were so cute and adorable and the first time I ever got bit by Fry in my life because these guys are that savage. That being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and be sure to check out Jason from Primetime Aquatics because he did a video about different types of cichlids that do well with plants, which kind of ties into this video because these guys are pretty good with plants for the most part when they're not digging them out. But on that note, I'll see you in the next video.